pebbles or snow. That he bathes in the ocean in that fall is something he should be careful of, yet he is about as cautious as a pumpkin-colored leaf as he leaps from beds, couches, chairs to the floor like, Mama, I'm just trying to fly. And I am in love with his affinity to go beyond. So each day at dawn, we pick a cloud to be his companion. And right at the start of every night, we voyage to Atlantis, a lost kingdom found somewhere between the parental warning sticker of reality and my child's imagination. Mama, where's my daddy? I lower my head. Your daddy is busy, baby. My daddy show sure is always busy. Over my glance. Hey, mama, don't these bubbles look like snow? And I wish that I could take him at his ocean full of snow and encase it in a globe. But I know that sooner than later, he will realize that this life is cold. And sometimes, no matter how much you want it to, nothing grows except miracles. Like how a firestorm was ignited in the tundra of my past. And now, every day, I find myself single-handedly raising a sun just to give my world something to revolve around. I evolved around five years ago. I dreamt I was Geppetto, and I wrote a poem in the shape of Pinocchio, and all that poem wanted was to be a real boy. That poem was my son. My son is my poetry in motion. He is every meter. He is every reverse. He is a free bird, more brave than his father, less fearful than his mother, for he knows that even when he falls, at least he was just trying to fly.